What's going on, Tectonic Edge here. We're still trying out the green red Tron build. Got the Dyro, made a few changes since the last build. Got the warping rails on the sideboard. Feel like those are any Tron build you need. Okay, traditional Tron hand. We have the Tron Lance against a Luris deck. I think we're in a good spot. Uh, could be Hammer Time. In fact, I think Hammer Time is honestly the most likely, but um, I don't know. I feel like if you see Luris, it's more than likely going to be the uh, Red Black or Grixis build. Though technically Hammer Time is more popular right now. Could be something weird too. I mean, Boggles is a possibility. They've run Luris before. Oh, Red White and Monster. It's Burn. All right. That's right. Burn can run it as well. So... Worm Coil Engine is going to be a good play. Uh, that actually puts us in a decent spot. Especially when we just draw Tron. We're in a good spot this turn. Best find. Honestly, I wouldn't mind another Worm Coil Engine. But we've got a really good hand for this. I'm hoping we go wide and put another monastery out and, uh, instead of the double burn here, but. Anna Scare the Critics. That one is a little slow. Well, we'll go ahead and crack this, grab the tower. Oof. I'm tempted to play the Worm Coil, but with the knowledge that they have a Rift Bolt on turn three, we're just going to take a Trinosphere here and get to shut down at least one burn spell. Make, they're only going to be able to play one other burn spell this turn, no matter what. Yet, if you're playing Burn and Tron's going to have turn 3 Tron, Rift Bolt turn 2, you might do better just to hold it and go for a different Burn spell if you have the op opportunity. Is that, is, this is going to eat a card out of his hand. That isn't going to do damage. And he will kill the Karn. It's also the question of whether he's going to have an extra land. If he doesn't have the land, I'm in a really good spot. Doesn't look like he has it. And even with Trinosphere, uh, you can't scare the critics. Yep, he was going for another scare the critics. Okay, didn't even need the worm coil. Nice. Being stuck on the lands was going to be a real issue for him, though. What do we bring in here? Warping Whale, Weather the Storm, Nature's Claims. 
relic. Those looks a little big. Kind of feel like we don't really need the Ravagan strategy here. Pyroclasm as well is a little rough. I'm tempted because it can answer a wide board state. So maybe we just cut the O stones instead. And we'll go we'll go down a Karn as well. Big Karn is not our optimal play in this matchup. As everything we need but a search card. Oh, there is a search card. Do I want to trust this? Yeah, we'll give it a shot. It's an ancient stirrings, but I do like having the colors. And if we get uh, the right sideboard card, we can make this work. Plus, if we do get turn three Tron, we've got our best answer. Best draw would probably be Sylvan Scrying. We are at a major disadvantage being in the draw in this matchup. Come on, land. Back for green. That's a good draw. Not our best draw, mind you, but a good draw. Uh, I definitely prefer Tron here. Oof. Yep. That's a pretty strong board state. And in fact, we pr we're probably just dead from the look of it. So even if we got Tron, it wouldn't have mattered. Probably should have scooped there. It did just reveal I'm green red. Uh, yeah, whether the storm would have kept me alive for a little bit. Gaining six life is relevant. But of ancient stirrings. Would not have found Tron though. Okay. So the ancient stirrings hand did was quite good enough to get there. We'll keep the same build. Being on the play will be a big advantage. Maybe dig a little bit harder for Tron. Had we found a Pyroclasm too, that would have done some damage. Well, that's not going to do it. Hmm. I need more artifacts for that to be good. If they had a creature-based hand, maybe, but I don't trust it. And there's Tron in hand with Worm Coil and other things. So, yeah, that's going to be a keep.
This time, definitely thinking, unless they set us up the exact same way they did before, uh, that the Karn will be the better option. We only have one great creator in hand. Yep. Lightning Bolt, and get in for four. Yep. Does put us pretty close to the danger zone. If we get a green source of weather, the storm will be nice. We shall see how they play this. Do they have the third land, and what threats are they holding in hand otherwise? Because that may determine when we grab a concrete creator as well. Our biggest fear is deflecting palm. which they could be holding up here. Play the Karn. Grab the Trinisphere. Forest Charm. Ooh, Skull Crack. All right. Relevant card. That does keep us from swinging in. Do our sideboard. Likely my next grab will be. Hmm. Walking Ballista to clear the board. If I don't get a green source. Or they're just going to scoop to that. All right. They didn't have the land. They, they didn't want to see how it goes. Cool. We'll go to game two here. Gonna try and get in a full league of this. See how tired I get. It is 12.30 a.m. Recording this the night before I plan to release it because I'm not gonna have time tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a busy day. Oh, happy belated uh, birthday to my buddy, uh, Brian, who we were going to celebrate his birthday last week, Monday, but he, he he came down with something. Luckily, not the COVID, but, you know, something, and we delayed a week. But hopefully he's feeling better. We'll be bowling. I'd be very surprised if he watches these videos. We play EDH, but he does not play modern. Has a modern deck, but never plays. Brian, if you are watching this, hit, hit, play modern. Not Tron, gotta be a mulligan.
Tower mine. It's so close, but no cigar. Although it's leagues above this hand, another mulligan. We need two different Tron lands and a search card. Or at least lands. I might keep a hand off a of Ragavan, but I need lands. That's probably going to be our best. And our first look at what our opponent is up to. Which, when we're on a mold of four, the downside on, on game one, oh, our opponent's on a mold of five. So that usually means Dredge or Tron, and it is Dredge. Or not. Nope, nope. This is just a bad mold for them. Mishra's Bobble, that's helpful in this deck. I got that wrong. We both mold to five, and they're pitching the Force of Negation. Okay. Well, with a low hand, I can see that. Where's this tower off the top? Or Sylvan Scrying? Oh, extra mine. Let's see, they'll have three cards if they have a land. They've got another Mishra's Bobble. Ideally, they can't, they don't have any extra lands. Maybe nice if they're playing the Mishra's Bobble here, indicating that. Nope, they have the land. All right. Well, only two other cards in hand. They did keep the card on top of their deck, though. Oop, and they have the monkey. Back for green. Can we get a tower? Nope, but I'll take an expedition map. That might be... It's turn four. Yeah, that does set up the O-Stone rather nicely. If they're slow, that might be relevant. That's three card types. Actually, if I were smart, I might have. Luckily, they appear to be blue-red. But if they had a white... And that will be the last one they need. Yep. That's a good card. That does get them back into the game pretty well here. Oh, and they're going to use the, uh, well, they may play the Chromatic Sphere. Uh, I think they're going to Lightning Bolt us, though. They're trying to get in as much damage as they can. Yep. Best draw is probably a tower. I'll take a relic though. Double O stone will take the opportunity to run one of them out. That way we can crack our stone next turn and play Karn.
Do they find the third land? They do. That might be tempting for him. counter spells the fact that they have burn we're not in the best situation to clear their graveyard but barring that we'll just get set up with a walking ballista They counter this, we'll use the opportunity to land in O-Stone. But since they didn't, we'll just crack this expedition map. Get a blast zone. We could be about to hit, be hit with another unholy heat. That'd be unfortunate. We shall take that.
And let's pass the turn. Well, that's pretty good. They did have the counter spell. I'd really like an Eldrazi Titan here. Um, yeah, we'll go for it. Do I still hold up? Yeah, because we're in trouble if we don't hold up the O-Stone. Unfortunately, I'm not able to just take this because if they have a lightning bolt, we're dead. And they're playing on a, They know exactly what we have. So if they're good, yeah, we're in trouble unless we draw something. perfect information. Oh, if they can Merc Tide and hold up a counter spell. Yep. Well, we can't kill that with walking ballista. Nor does Worm Coral have flying. Wow, yeah. And nope, they managed to get us. I might have been able to have done something different with the card, maybe bait out the with the walking, but I'm pretty sure they have a counter spell. I needed uh, one of the Eldrazi Titans to do anything here. They have the counter spells. We want the veils. Pyroclasm does a little bit. Ravagan, not as much. Uh, maybe the warping whales. Oh, what would I bring in for them? I guess countering a sorcery is pretty good. We will cut uh, maybe a Karn and I like the relics. Real good cuts. Give that a shot. Nope. Nope. Easy yes. Okay.
There we go. It is pretty good coming back on that win. They get, are very good at using the information they get. Now we have the benefit of having Tron in hand. So we can play the map, but they don't disrupt us if they interact with it. They're on a mold of five as well. That may mean they were digging for answers. We'll see what hand they kept. A Ragavan or the other one? It's a Ragavan hand. Well, I'd like to draw a warping well here. This does give away we have Tron. But we can start cleaning up their graveyard. I'm glad they can't play that. Oh, that's not very good. Really like a pyroclasm here. Yep. We're in trouble. grab our forest never see a pyroclasm when you need it Unfortunately, that monkey's getting pretty big. I don't... Oh, crap.
How badly do we need to draw here? Yeah, I'd say badly enough we crack this. Come on, pyroclasm! Alright, well, we're one turn away from our worm coil. But they're going to have seven mana next swing, so we really got to be wary of that. Oh, but then they have cards in hand. Yep. Um, land is good. Pyroclasm would be good. Not if they manage to get their artifact count up, though, or their graveyard count up, though, and they look like they're going to might be able to do it. Blood Moon is a very good card here. Can we get around it? That's three. Uh, if they can get... One more card type off this surveil, they're in a good spot. All right, well, they already had instant, so that works out. However, if they have a sorcery in hand, no luck. Okay, hopefully they don't hit Karn. Okay, it's a chromatic. The unfortunate thing is, I'm fairly sure they're holding up counter spells. Ah, we really needed that to be a land. I'd love to use this warping whale too, but no bit or no things that produce colorless at the moment. Pretty much dead here. They swing five. We need to dodge a decent Ragavan to have any chance. Yeah, all right. We need to draw a land. And that's not a land, so we can go to game three. Sometimes Tron just doesn't cooperate. The Blood Moon did, really didn't help. That was definitely the Blood Moon. But we'll go try out game three, see, see what we can do a little bit better there. All right, got the die roll. That's a good start. And oh, it's an ancient stirrings. I know I shouldn't, but it still has the potential. That's it's one of those iffy hands. Better than not, we're gonna get there. Five out of the. We look at the top five. Out of fifty-three, there are four potential. Yeah. Plus, we get a one extra draw, so that could happen to be relevant. 
at the very least a strong turn four if we hit an expedition map or some other card best top deck it would probably be a sylvan scrying on the, and then we use the ancient stirrings to find a threat Actually, uh, no, I guess the best draw would be just a uh, power plant. Oh, and I know what we're against. That is an amulet titan deck if I ever saw one. Luckily, they've moved somewhat away from the Karn Great Creator build and more towards a, uh, what is, is it, Cultivator Colossus? They, they've moved more towards Cultivator Colossus, which... Not easy for Tron to deal with, but better than the turn four concrete creator. And then granted, I, this guy could be either. So, power plant. Crack for green. We'll take a power plant. Now we just need a viable turn three threat. Turn four O-Stone is probably gonna be too slow. But I could be wrong, they are... I didn't see an amulet. So they're not on a fast hand. The obligatory swing with the zero three. We could theoretically get the other draw here. Uh, I don't think there's anything really we would play into this. So we'll just take the worm coil and hope to draw a tower for the Ulamog, but we'll settle for holding up a board wipe next turn. From Evil Titan. Yep. The lands they grab are going to be relevant. Hoping for no ghost quarter. Okay.
And we do have the Ulamog next turn. Do we do it now? Um, it does stop them from potentially playing an extra land, which could be relevant. We have many lands left in hand. All right, and when we land the Ulamog next turn, we'll probably be in a good spot. They're going to probably bounce the Talaria West. Yep. I see what they're going for. And we're going to take Ulamog and say no thank you. Go ahead and take the damage. Well, Valakut's now live, so that's something I need to be wary of. And they're going to scoop. All right. Fireclasm would have taken care of the token. Would have gotten another draw off those, potentially two draws, and the Karn probably would have been the death nail. All right. Game three, we take the nature's claims. Potentially the warping whales, counter target sorcery isn't the most relevant. Yeah. Maybe an explore. Does Pyroclasm really do us anything? Clears nothing. Yeah. Um, well, we'll take them over the Pyroclasms here. Leave everything else for the Karn board, really. Is it maybe more relevant than the Relic? That's just a draw card. They're definitely brought in Ghost Quarter at this point. But we're going to be in a good spot for game three. Still open to get their game two, because this is a deck that can just lose to itself. Hmm. Okay. 
Zerai. No, not on the draw. And if it had a chromatic, maybe. I've made my stance on that. And this is what we're going with. Okay. Oh, I hate doing it, but I can't go on land. And then those seem too relevant. Well, that seems a pretty easy move. Time to dash or have again. And surprise my opponent. Okay, so they do have the Karn combo. Noted. And I'm glad that's an exile. I bet they have a Karn in hand. Ooh, tempting. Could Sylvan Scrying not miss a land drop? I'm playing a weird game. I think we're likely to see a Karn here, which we want to hit with the monkey. Oop, 
Nope. I was wrong, and it can be troublesome. Run into an issue if I swing, I die. And I don't kill his guy, so I guess I don't swing. Yeah. That does give his Karn some protection. Oh, never mind, that is six. Oof, yep. Yeah. No, definitely back the wrong strategy here. Yeah, I'll concede to that. Dramatic wouldn't have saved me. This was going to be a rough one no matter what. I don't think going to three would have been much better. The stall tactic worked pretty well, but we weren't doing anything uh, really relevant either. Maybe if we kept going for the monkey instead of trying to build Tron lands, or lands in general. That does nothing. That. Also does nothing, because the monkey really doesn't build fast enough. And that'd be a turn two monkey. Ooh, it's double mind. Uh, we got a four. Can we theoretically do anything with this? Oh, well, that's not good. So we really need to draw a chromatic. Actually, we just need to draw a tower. Would have been better with the Ugin hand, but that's the risk of Tron. If that's a really good start for them. I really need a chromatic here. Eight out of fifty eight chance. That's not a chromatic. And barring that, I really need a tower off the top. Four out of 57 chance.
guess the chromatics are second best option find or a, a green land would honestly not be the worst oh this is a really good turn Doesn't help us. I think we're dead. Yep. So they're going to crack the expedition map, get a bounce land, bounce the Tolaria West, transmute. And they're going to go get another Amulet of Vigor. Double Amulet sucks. Yep. Four mana every time they play it. Yeah, our only hope would have been a tower off the top. Last one, they bounce to Lario West. Transmute. Get the, get the Primeval Titan. If I had a Warping Whale, I could theoretically... Had I not played the expedition map, I whooping while I could have held up on the Azusa. Or they're just going to have the Karn, which. We, uh, we lose to it just as easily. Yep, we'll go ahead and scoop that up. Needed that last turn to do anything. Yeah. The current iterations of Titan, especially with the Karn, are not favorable for Tron. It's pretty much a race to turn three, and admittedly, the, our best bet is to be on the play. But we do need to have Tron. Maybe should have gone to three. Yeah, it's always tricky. Especially if it were mono green, I might have gone to three a little easier, but this is the red green build. Wants to play a little bit slower than a mono green build. Nope. Needs a green source. Needs lands. Also needs lands. Okay. Tron in hand and nope. Well, we're not going to two, but. This is a one lander. Uh, honestly, we're going to go for the Relic. Because we really need to play a second land next turn for this map to do anything. Yep. 
Zephyrian Void, that's a card I haven't seen in a while and was played in a weird Eldrazi variant back in the day, so possibly that variant? Colorless Eldrazi? Land Power Plant Tower! All right, so if we would have played the expedition map, we would have had Tron, but I wasn't willing to gamble that we weren't going to get a land and we're just going to be stuck there. I wanted, would rather have the two draws to find a land with that hand. Definitely slows us down a turn. All right, red. This could be a prison deck. missing a land drop so I think we play the land and pass in case this is gonna be a blood moon deck we want to go get our basic This could be a mono red prison build. Hey, yep. So they're going to be trying to shut us down. Karn Grid Creator? Nope. How reliant are they on their graveyard versus how reliant are we? Enough that I want to clear this. I don't. I think the draw is more important at this point. Well, we've got lands for days, but we don't really need lands. Okay. Yeah, that's not good. But it does lend to this being prison. And our best draw is Congregate Creator. Not gonna get more mana than this. Okay, yeah, we are in a bit of trouble. We're not dead quite yet because we will be able to hold out on this level of mana for a few turns. But we need our concrete creator. After our basic, on, great creator. Not 
Not a concrete creator, but that is interesting. Especially because we can dash this. Come after the congregate creator, eventually kill it. But we don't trigger that ability if we do. Uh, is it worth it? Yeah, the mana and the draws aren't going to really be helping us. Board and snaring bridge. Yep. Yeah, season pyromancer is pretty good. And we're gonna crash or not? Or what's going on? No, we're not crashing, but that yeah, was weird. Ooh, Fenna Chalice on one. I'm going to say they have it with that many lock pieces on board. I'm at uh, the main board blood rune into the car. And yeah, this is a bad matchup. Um, really wasn't going to help us. Uh, the Chouse takes care of the Ragavan. Take the nature's claims over the pyroclasms. And we want the warping whales because why not? Really relevant, but more relevant than relic. Pretty much a prison stack is just trying to stop us from doing pretty much anything. And if they can eat lands every turn with Karn, they can do it. So our goal needs to be to shut that down as quick as possible. Unfortunately, they get access to land destruction here. Can't keep it. Mm. It's not a usual hand. But I think I can keep it. And I keep it because we're going to try and get to our Congregate Creator first with Ravagan. That does... The knowledge that they know about our Ragavan is interesting. Hopefully they're not on the same plan. I can't see it not running Ragavan. Mm, I jinxed it. I jinxed it. Oops. 
Do we trade monkeys? No, because they're they have a turn three play we don't like more than they have a turn uh, two play. So we'd rather trade on their end. Oh, the mana accelerant. Luckily, I think I beat them to Karn here. Get our green source. The monkeys are just having a stare down. We do trade. And who, he who gets to Karn first is the winner. Warping Whale. I'm going back to Pyroclasms because if they get the Blood Moon, it just shuts down Warping Whale a little too hard. This is going to be the rough game. Okay. Well, this is the best hand we could have for the rough game. They're on a mold of five. They're digging for Blood Moon, pretty much. Uh, they fall apart if they don't have a quick way to Blood Moon. And that will be a quick way to Blood Moon. Dugan's a bit of a pipe dream in this, but I can't turn down Tron in hand. Blood Moon? Ooh, Void Mirror! That is relevant.
Let's shuffle the deck. Grab the forest. There, turn away from casting that, which is good for us. But if they have a car, we're in trouble. Torture Defiance, that's fine. I'd love to cast that, but our best hope is on this Ugin. And I mistapped that. Meant to do that. So if we can dodge a Blood Moon this turn, we're in a good spot. Go over the Burn Willows. Okay, nice. I think our luck is held, even if this is a Karn. It's not a Karn. But our luck has held. At this point, we should be able to stabilize. And that'll be their one spell this turn. their own effect against them. Uh, Void Mirror, they don't have a red source. So unless they drew a mountain. We got there. A lot of Blood Moon games. All right, two losses, two wins. Going into game three, can we stabilize for the 3-2? I'm hoping so. Crossing my fingers. I'm hoping we don't see Blood Moon again. Not having fun with these Blood Moon decks. In terms of difference uh, between this deck and a normal Tron deck, right now, I think I still would have lost pretty much the same matchups. I haven't really seen the part of this deck that really makes it. I've gotten the Ravagans, which, yeah, they got me one um, game there. Uh, also cost me another in that matchup. I would have done better getting the draw, but that could just be a better um, factor of choosing better hands, which this is not. This is no lands. I am not getting lucky right now. Orphan Guard Control. That's uh, a gamble. We'll give it a try. Hope for a longer game.
Ooh, maybe not control. Well, we'll spin them for a loop. Oh, no, it's, it's going to be four color on math. Voice of Resurgence, interesting. We'll see if they want to trade this. A good spot to be in though. Voice of Resurgence says strongly an elemental deck. Risen Reef says elemental. So calling control is definitely wrong. This will be aggro. Land off the top. Take a mine, play it, play the expedition map. Oh, stone's going to be nice. So if we can get to turn five, we're in a good spot. I think we have to sacrifice the Karn next turn. This will likely be an Omnath. Yep. That'll be a double draw. And they'll swing four, and I'm going to take a lot of damage next turn. I really want a tower off the top. It's a gamble, but maybe worth it. nice but I pretty much broadcast that they need to kill us next turn and they probably can we're in a danger zone They're doing math. Never good. They can get three lands out. They 
can do 12. If they can do three lands and two creatures, they kill us. Double trigger on the Risen Reef. They're hoping for a land card. Luckily, no hit. Okay, that'll be plenty of mana. Oh, wait, no, yeah, no, we're, we're dead. We are dead. Uh, it's very unlikely we're not dead. They get the bunch of mana. They get to play more elementals. That'll do the extra four. Plus, if they can just play two elementals, uh, the, uh, the token. Yeah. We will return too slow. I guess it comes down to top card land or not. Which it is. Yep, and they swing for exactly 10. We needed the top two cards not to be lands to have any chance here. And then we would have, yeah. Relic's not really important, I guess. Whether uh, Warping Wheel does a little bit in this matchup. Pull out the Kozilek. We are looking more to wipe their board than anything else. Maybe Nature's Claim, but I don't think they really... Eh, well, they have access to things we care about. But, eh, I don't think they have Dampening Sphere. It's possible they do. Void Mirror is also an option, but that can be played around. I'm more worried about the aggro nature of this deck. We needed one more turn there to stabilize, and we just did not have it. Definitely made the mistake of killing the... Yeah, I should not have attacked in the first place there. That was a mistake. It held up a blocker, they would have only been doing two damage as opposed to the accelerated four. Gambled on the ancient stirrings, which had I won the gamble, I would have been in a much better spot. Uh, but I lost the gamble there, didn't find the charm land. Could add the Karn out, but all right, we need Tron. That's not Tron. That's not Tron. Now we're going to four. Pyroclasm is relevant. All right, we'll give this a shot. Oh. 
I have a way to kill it. No, I don't. Mm. Pyroclasm is sorcery speed. That is relevant. Good top deck. That ephemerate's doing work. Honestly, I'd settle for second pyroclasm. Ugin's probably our best find. Well, that definitely isn't it. All right, at this point, Ulamog's our best find. Tell me it's not a lightning bolt. It's not, but... I really need Nugan. Yeah, we need something good off the top of their deck. And uh, we died to the Ragavan, not Ragavan, to the Renin Six, unfortunately. That Ugumog is just going to be a little too slow. Fire Class wasn't good enough to kill a Fury. And they're going to deal one damage. Yep. 
All right, thank you for watching. Tectonic Edge here, signing out.